Hey guys, John5 slash Joe5 here. And today I will be disproving Game Theory's Pokemon Bowser Animal Abuse Theory. Now, I've seen Aaron RN64's video about why Pokemon Bells aren't animal abuse. It's a brilliant video, go check it out. And, um, a YouTuber I want to make a shout out to is Super Yoshi Mario Bros. I'll put the link to that channel in the description as well as the video. So yeah, just check everything out as well as my videos and don't forget to subscribe. But anyway, let's jump into this. So first game theory brings up what happens in a Pokemon battle. That you just battle them where like bites and poisons and burns happen. Which is actually how they evolve and get better defense. So... Yeah, they get better defense by battling, and they grow special ponds with their train. Yeah, and they do that until the Pokemon fan, until Beautiful Nurse Joy can, like, fix them up and whatnot. So, he kind of, like, referenced to how this might be inspired by real-life animal battling, but... You see, the problem is that they'll starve their animals and beat them to make them stronger, but Pokemon trainers don't do that. Not even Team Rocket does that. And even one time, some guy had a hardcore, it was training his Pokemon hardcore, and Ash thought it was too much for them, so he asked if they wanted to go with him, but they just looked at him like he was crazy because they liked their trainer. Okay, so yes, they do get shocked, water pumped, and burned, but Pokemon like battling. Remember episode 14 where Pikachu was overpowered by Raichu, but he still wanted to battle? Well, and not to mention, trainers will be concerned about their Pokemon, whether they'll be strong enough or not. And, um, and Meowth in one time was talking to James and Jesse because they were concerned whether Arbok and Weezer would be okay or not. Um, and Meowth said after all that battling, they're probably tough as nails. So, yeah, battling is essential for a Pokemon. Okay, so we go to an episode called Battle of the Badge, where, um, Jesse and James have this thing where the trainer has to feel the pain the Pokemon do. But the Pokemon don't mind it as much, that's the problem. And Ash still stays. Oh yeah, and just something ironic I wanted to tell you about the thumbnail. He has Pikachu crying from Pokemon the first movie in the thumbnail, and he photoshops a chain around him. But here's the ironic part. The reason why Pikachu is crying in that picture is because Ash, who sent him into battle, was sort of dead, not necessarily dead, but unconscious. Yeah, and Pikachu was upset by it. And trainers do grow special bonds. They don't want to leave... Pokemon don't want to leave their trainers because they like them. If Pokemon didn't like the way they were treated, well, then they would leave. And they're not forced to battle. They... Like Charizard that one time, he didn't want to battle and Ash didn't make him. Oh, yeah, and before you say, well, it is animal abuse because of that. Well, Charizard didn't want to battle just because he's a jerk. He, he wasn't obeying Ash at the time. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so now he brings up how you like catch Pokemon, but don't use them. Now, um, while that is true, he said they could be roaming free. But they could be roaming free where they could get hurt by other Pokemon. They need to be saved from other Pokemon. Um, Aaron Arn64 made a brilliant statement that Pokemon and trainers are like a football team. The, the trainers are the coach, and the Pokemon are, are the teams who take the hits. You see, the coach comes up with the strategy, like the trainer does. And the Pokemon goes out there in battles, kind of like the football players do. Oh yeah, and something else, he said they could be wrong and free. But what about the weak Pokemon, like Pidgey, Caterpie, and Rattata? Um, they're kind of in danger if they're free because other Pokemon might get them. Or they could even end up with the worst trainer. But as to Fawfalizer sent his top 9 worst game theory videos, give him credit where it's due. He called out PETA for all the stupid idiotic things it did. PETA thinks like it's wrong to kill animals for meat, which it's not. You see, like, 
You can't mate animals, you know, for meat, milk, and stuff like that. Um, people eat meat. It's pretty essential, actually. <clears throat> yeah, you eat meat. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, um, I'm not for animal abuse, but Pokemon battles are not animal abuse. And also, there's absolutely nothing wrong with killing animals for meat. Killing them for fun is a different story. But for meat, that's not bad. Okay, so that is about it. But something I like, other than Game Theory calling out PETA for all the stupid things he did, I do like how in the end, um, he's like, I would love to discuss this, but I've got steaks on the grill. That was actually pretty funny to me. Yeah, so that's really about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my latest video, my top 10 favorite YouTubers, and check out my latest response video where I responded to Rosalina Unmasked. Um, I personally believe it was a good one, not to brag, but anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me and Super Yoshi Mario Bros. I think that's the name, but anyway, subscribe to those channels and don't forget to watch Aaron R64's video. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. So, um, goodbye, God bless, have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed the video.